How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And at the moment, GeForce Now is not available in a lot of countries, including New Zealand. So if you're looking to use GeForce Now in New Zealand, stick around until I show you guys how you can actually unblock uh, GeForce Now. So if you're in the same situation right here where it says GeForce Now is currently not supported in your region, all you need is a good VPN so that you can enjoy your favorite games on your laptop, desktop, Mac, Shield TV, Android, iPhone, or iPad with ease. At the moment, there are close to 100 games available to use with new ones added every Thursday. And you can stream supported games from Steam, Epic Games, Ubisoft Connect, and GOG.com. Players can also enjoy games they already own by connecting to digital PC stores. If you try to create an account while residing in New Zealand, for example, unfortunately, you will receive an error message stating, GeForce Now is currently not supported in your region, as it says right here. And until all of the proper licensing agreements have been established, GeForce Now will block users in any other region where it's not supported. So a good VPN, obviously in this case, will connect you to an internet server in a licensed country, making it appear to GeForce Now that you are actually in the permitted region. So if you want to solve this problem, all you need to do is use a good VPN, which will also improve your internet speeds if you're having uh, issues with your ISP's package. And if you're having any ping or latency issues, and latency obviously is the amount of time it takes for data to travel between servers on a network. And if your latency is high, it will cause lag or delay that may lead to lost points or missed shots while you play your games. So if you want to go ahead and use a VPN, make sure it's a good, reliable VPN, which is exactly why I went ahead and tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. You've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own budget, your own preferences, and what you're looking for out of your VPN. Now, I'll go ahead and just demonstrate very quickly how you can unblock GeForce using ExpressVPN. Let's say I want to connect to the US server right here. So it can be as simple as just connecting to a United States server, connecting to it, and then refreshing GeForce Now, and then you can go ahead and create your account. So let's go ahead and just refresh and it will definitely not give me that notification anymore because now it realizes that I'm in the United States. And that is pretty much it with regards to unblocking GeForce Now. It's as simple as that. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policies, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can get yourself the refund thanks to the 30 day money back guarantee. And all the plans are obviously covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test it out before you commit to the full package. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.